well, welcome to day three. But before I get into that, let me touch on what happened at the end of day two last night, because I pretty much stopped filming, gave up talking, kind of gave up, full stop really. We dropped down into Sidmouth, it was quite cold, it's turning a bit colder. And as we started climbing out of it, it started to rain and we just climbed and climbed and then we had a really steep climb we had to push and the rain was coming down quite hard and we just couldn't find anywhere to camp and i thought oh i wonder if we should try and find a campsite and almost within a minute of saying that we saw a sign for a campsite we didn't have enough cash because he only took cash but he done us a deal he done us half price thank god and we finally got our heads down Slept really well last night, didn't wake up at all. So we've done a little bit of a detour this morning to take us back onto the route via the quickest ray. And now we're heading towards a calf. Get some breakfast and look at how long we got to go because the only advantage of going on and on yesterday, we should have left ourselves a much easier day today. That is really steep, isn't it? <laughs> Can you imagine, though, if we'd had to keep going last night? Oh, since we left the capsite, we've been dropping, dropping on road climbs. One of them was 20%. Now, it's payback. Brutal off-road climb. Oh, I don't want you to get up here on an e-bike. I wouldn't want to go down here, let alone up. Let's just go with a new colour climbing grading on his wahoo the really nasty climbs have been red this one's coming up as purple i don't know where they go from there wow that's a view yeah keep the french out <laughs> we'll keep keep cornwall away That's our cafe stop and it's closed. Hopefully there's somewhere else in beer we can eat. Well, we've had breakfast, nothing too heavy. And now, oh, we've gone through Seaton, come out of Seaton. This part of the ride is very hilly. Like very steep downs, very steep ups. And just gone up a really punchy climb up out of Seaton onto a golf course. I suppose if you look at the geography, you know, the coastline of this part of Devon, it is, you know, cliffs and very hilly. Whew. Oh, that was a half-hearted. <laughs> Find that one tough or? Uh, no, it's fine. Fine, okay. Weather is so changeable here. About half an hour ago, we were on the beach, eating our breakfast, fleeces on, jackets on, feeling quite chilly. And now back down to my t-shirt, sweating. Feels like it could uh, rain at any minute or the sun could come out at any minute. I suppose that's called the British summer. So we're heading into Lyme Regis now. There's a loop on the route that goes into Lyme Regis and back out again. We're probably not gonna take that. We're just gonna head north towards Axminster. Yesterday's efforts are certainly catching up with me. Feeling very fatigued and slow. It's even after having some of Matt's flapjack. Just head down, keep going. The end is in sight, even though it feels like a long way away. So 
So uh, just to recap then, obviously the route carries straight on, yeah? Yeah. Which is a continuation of their test of strength and stamina. Yeah, and, and, and courage. Yeah. And that never say dice spirit. That's right. What, what, what about for anyone watching maybe who hasn't got that sort of courage and, <laughs> and that, you know, that, you know, never giving up part of their personality? What's their options? Well, I mean, obviously <laughs> my knowledge in this area is fairly limited. Obviously. But I did a little bit of research this morning. Yep. If we turn left here, it's basically <laughs> straight line, Axminster. Five miles. Five miles, yeah. Winners. Yep. Losers. Losers, right. If you want to ride down the winners bit, I'll film you. Yeah. And then turn it off and we'll go the other way. <laughs> right, let's go, we're winners. So which way do we go then? Which should we choose? Sorry to tell you, went the losers way. Both feeling really tired. We've got, both got long drives when we get back. We wanted to be in our cars by midday and, and we think even if we go the shortcut, we won't get there until at least one. It means hitting rush hour traffic at the end of the day. It's not cutting out the route completely because we're going to pick it up again. I don't know about you, whether you get this. Third day blues, last day blues, when you're on a big ride on the last day, you just want to finish. You just want to get home and have a shower, sleep in your bed. Uh, that's kind of how I'm feeling. Head's a bit low, mentally not feeling strong, physically definitely not feeling strong. We are back on route. Just on a very bumpy off-road section. Well, I can feel the end is in sight on this trip. It's been an amazing three days. Very tough at times. So would I recommend this route? Well, absolutely. It's a really varied route. It's got some really easy sections. It's got some off-road and some of it's quite technical. Some of it you're gonna to have to push. You may even have to carry your bike at the odd time. It is quite a lot of road, but a lot of it is very narrow roads. So the sort of roads with moss and grass growing in the middle. Barely wide enough for a bike and a car. So you can't really hair around those roads. The terrain of Devon has caught me by surprise a bit. It's very short and sharp climbs, very punchy. Not like what I'm used to in the South Downs in Sussex. The hills are more rolling. But I would thoroughly recommend the route for anyone thinking of a three day bikepacking trip. Well, that's what we've taken for it anyway. Or two and a half. So thank you for Catherine Moore for creating the route. I've never met Catherine Moore, but uh, she's done very well here. And yeah, if you've done this route before, please share your thoughts and as for what bike to take because i'm sure someone's going to ask for me a gravel bike's ideal it's fine on a mountain bike as well that's what matt's used no it's not a road route though so thank you for watching i'm going to go and take a shower and have a nice long sleep i'll see you on the next one <laughs>